Hi guys, today I wanted to share with you my baby weaning and toddler feeding essentials. Um, I want to clarify first of all that I don't actually consider any of these things to be essentials. You don't need anything to actually feed your baby besides food. Um, that would be good. Um, but these are all things that are essential to me in the sense that I would not want to live without them at this point. They make um, mealtime so much cleaner and easier to clean up after. And this is gonna be like baby weaning slash toddler feeding because some of these things I had when Riley started out um, eating food for the first time um, and some of them I didn't, but these are all things that you can use straight from, you know, when they're first weaning um, and it'll take them through their toddler years as well. So to get started, um, the first thing that I really, really, really love are these bamboo bowls. Um, they're great for a lot of reasons. Obviously, you don't have to worry about plastics. So that being said, I do still use plastic items. Riley still eats with plastic items sometimes. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but most of her meals come out of these bamboo bowls, which makes me feel good. Um, they wash up really easily. Um, if you're putting hot foods into them, these bowls don't get hot. Um, just, you know, all sorts of things. Um, also, um, they're really easy to clean up. And most importantly, these are the only suction bowls or plates that I have come across that actually stick to the surfaces that you put them on, including our wooden table. Um, most things have like zero stick when they come in contact with wood. This actually sticks very well. Um, at this point, at 15 months, like Riley can get it up if she wants to um, some of the time. Sometimes she has no chance of getting up and she actually gets really frustrated because she's trying to pull it up and she can't figure it out. But um, yeah, I love these bowls. Um, and the brand is Bamboo Bamboo. I'm gonna link everything down below, so if you can't remember the names, you can at least find it. I live in the UK, so I'm gonna use um, Amazon UK links um, when I can, um, unless I have to find them someplace else. But um, otherwise, like if you're in any other country, you can just at least find the name of the item and you can look it up on your own Amazon or just in Google in general to see if you can find a store that carries them. Um, this is by Bambinos and it's called the Tidy Tray. This thing has like revolutionized cleanup time with eating. So basically this just has a clip, it's like a clipboard, and you clip it to the edge of the table. We did a lot of baby led weaning combined with purees um, with Riley. And in the beginning, a lot of times I would just feed her straight from the tray. I wouldn't even use um, bowls or plates. Um, but one of the nicest things about using this is even with a plate or a bowl, I still use this tray. Um, one of the things I love about it though is that if Riley is sitting in her high chair and she's getting really, really, really messy and crazy, this top part just clips right up and you can pull it away from her. So when she's acting really crazy with her food, um, we can just like remove all of the food from her like very quickly. We can just take this away. It also makes cleanup so much easier because um, most of the mess does get retained in this for us at this point. Um, yes, there's still food on the floor. Yes, there's still food that makes it to the table, but this has reduced the amount of it by a lot. Also, this part right here, it's like curved and it kind of like goes up and out. So when your child's eating from it, it basically kind of comes up away from the table, like towards their neck. So a lot of times if Riley's eating, if something falls from her mouth, um, maybe about half the time, it just falls back into the tray instead of falling into her lap. Um, so that's another really nice thing about this tray. And the suctions work really great with this tray. That's how strong the suction is, guys, by the way. Pretty good, eh? So anyway, um, this works really great with the tray. But I've not at this point found a suction, not a suction, I haven't yet found a um, tabletop that this suction does not work with. So it's easy to come off though because you just have to pull that tab. I don't know if you saw that, like the second I pulled the tab, it was released. So love these. Again, I've already said that. 
Um, the next thing that I think is really great is to have a variety of spoons. Um, don't go out and just buy one brand of spoons. Go ahead and just buy like all sorts of different ones because what I found is even to this day, um, Riley's a really good eater if she's given the right utensils. So depending on what she's eating, I just kind of use my best um, guess as to which will feed her the best. Um, so like if she's having porridge, I tend to give her this spoon because porridge, um, which is like oatmeal, um, tends to stick together in clumps. And this is a nice flat spoon with just little waves in it. This is from um, Fisher Price, I believe, which is random, right? I didn't know Fisher Price made spoons, but um, she can get this up and she can get it in her mouth. Because um, the thing is, is a really scooped spoon, a lot of times she gets frustrated because she doesn't know how to like use the insides of her mouth to get what's in the scoop out. So if I'm giving her something thick like porridge, I might give her this spoon. Whereas with the deeper scoop, if she's having something soupier, she needs to have a scoop for it to pick up. Or if she's eating um, like let's say peas, um, yes, she can use her fingers, but she's at that age where she loves using spoons. So if she's eating something like peas, like a pea can scoop into here and it'll kind of hold into place because it's got a deeper scoop. Um, I've got like a really tiny, tiny spoon that she uses sometimes just because um, she's got a really small mouth and this is fairly shallow as well. I tend to use this spoon for like rice pudding. I'm just giving you guys examples because, you know, just to see like there are different reasons to use different spoons. Um, the fact that this is metal, it seems to kind of like cut into the rice better because rice is quite sticky. Like some of these spoons, she has a harder time separating the rice from itself. And I'm not saying you have to buy all of these ones that I have exactly. I just mean that after a while you kind of figure out which spoons work best for what types of food. And sometimes I get it wrong. And if I see she's having a hard time eating, I just switch it. Um, she does use forks now as well, but calling this like a baby weaning going into toddler feeding, I'm just showing you spoons. Um, but it's the same with forks, like get a variety and let them use different things and kind of feel for how they eat and what helps them eat better. So just get a variety and use what works. I mean, she has, this was a little baby size wooden spoon that she tried out, um, but she actually really loves using um, the same wooden spoons that me and my husband use and they happen to be nice and shallow. So once again, she can actually get the food off of the spoon. Um, and even though they're like big, you know, as long as the food's just at the tip of it, she can eat it no problem. And these are great for like when it's like a bigger chunk of food that she's having a hard time, like bigger chunks of food tend to fall off a of little spoons. But if she's got a big chunk, then these spoons are great because she can kind of balance it on without having it fall off because there's a lot more space. Just some examples. So if you're like, why would I need different spoons? Well, I just went over quite a few different types of foods that your baby might be eating and how it could help them. And lastly, I have bibs on the list because of course you want bibs to keep you from doing a thousand outfit changes um and i've got two that i really really love um so this is it says hippie chick and bumpkins and i think bumpkins is the brand but um basically this is a smocked kind of a apron -y slash bib and it just you can slide their arms in through the back it's got little elasticated hands so it can go over you know kind of any size hand but still fit tightly against their arms um, and it covers everything and it's got little pockets to catch food um, which actually these these pockets never look like they do much but they actually do catch the food um, so with this pocket and that tray like she doesn't have too much food that makes it everywhere else um, before she was using like this kind of combination like there used to be so much food on the floor so um, I love this obviously because when she's wearing like a really, really dear outfit to me that I really don't want to get messed up, um, I can put this on her and she's just covered. I don't have to worry about it. Um, I will say I do like to use um, cloth bibs underneath a lot of times. Like so I'll put a cloth bib on first and then I'll put um, this bib on top just to catch. Cause like this is very thin and it's like waterproofy. 
So a lot of times if she's like drinking water or something, she'll dribble it out of her mouth. Like babies love spitting like whatever they're drinking. They just love it. So if she spits it out of her mouth, a lot of times it'll like work its way underneath the bib into her shirt and she'll just end up with a wet shirt. So I do like to put on a cloth bib first, just like a basic one. Um, this is an Aiden and an I one and this is an American Apparel one brand doesn't really matter so much the reason why i actually grabbed this is because i do really like these aiden and i bibs but riley was a small baby and basically at 15 months the aiden and i one has three snaps on it this only just fits her at the smallest setting now um before that obviously they fit her but they were really big so it defeated the purpose because she would still get a wet shirt because the scoop was coming down way too low. Um, so in the beginning, you do want these like really smaller baby size bibs and you can use these like bigger bibs um, as they get older. So the plus side of that is Riley still fits in these baby bibs. Most babies won't keep fitting in their baby bibs though. So you will need like a larger size bib. So the Aiden and I ones are great because they will fit um, toddlers because like the biggest setting is like a really good size uh, I think that would fit most toddlers um, whereas this wouldn't because it's a really small hole um, do 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 and I had one other bib I wanted to show you um, so this one was like a frilly one that initially when I purchased it I bought it because I thought it was super cute I mean it's got a pocket it's waterproofy and it's got like wing ruffly things. It's the cutest thing on my daughter, I swear. But I've actually found that I use this bib all the time. I thought it was gonna be like my keep it in my diaper bag so when we're out and about she looks super cute bib. But I use it like whenever it's clean, like I love using this bib because I've found that the wings actually serve a purpose. <laughs> Maybe they weren't designed to, but they do. Um, when she's eating and like food is going everywhere, um, you will find that baby food makes it everywhere, over their shoulders, especially, um, you know, behind them. This does a lot of deflecting and it makes the food go down into the little pouch. I love it. It's genius. Um, yeah, so this is from the brand LED Details and, you know, a little bit frilly, flouncy, but it serves a purpose, I swear. Love that don't really need it but I use it all the time um, this could pretty much serve the same purposes but you will get more food behind you but on the other hand you get really clean arms because every baby loves to put their arms into their food um, that was everything I was just making sure I showed everything I did show everything oh I will say because um, I forgot to mention. I meant to mention it when I showed you this tray. So the reason I needed a tray is because my daughter eats from a, um, what's it called? A Stokey Trip Trap um, high chair, which is the kind that goes straight up to the table. So she eats at the table with us, which personally I have found like invaluable um, that she's able to sit at the table with us and eat. Um, cause especially part of like with baby led weaning, um, and following like the style of like, you just eat like, you know, the same kind of foods you see mommy and daddy eat. Although I did always modify that. She didn't always eat what I ate, but we always ate together as a family. So she would sit, we didn't feed her separate from us. Um, you know, we would sit her down with her food and we would eat our food at the same time. So she could see what we were doing and she could mimic us whatever, you know, be part of the family, um, which is because a lot of you guys might think that this isn't even necessary because obviously like high chairs come with trays. Um, but yeah, I didn't mention like we have that kind of high chair that goes straight up to the table and I actually would consider that an essential. I do think that the um, high chairs that are made to go straight up against the table, there are other brands that do it. Um, I think when I was looking at them, there was another brand called I think it was like baby Dan or something like that um, I'll try to insert a picture of the style that I'm talking about I'll show you all I'll, sh I'll insert a picture of our high chair but that has been great um, and you don't have to worry about the height because it works with like multiple level height tables as long as it's not like a bar stool height kind of a table 
um, it wouldn't work with those kinds of tables, but just like a normal eating table, it would work at any height because it's adjustable. So anyway, that's it. Um, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.